welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an Elfly review video for you. There's definitely a backstory to why I'm not doing an Elfly review video, not to say anything negative about the brand themselves, and I'm sure the quality of their items are really, really good. Um, I just had a bit of a challenge actually getting them. Um, insert clip here. Okay, so I'm just placing my first order with Elfly right now. They didn't have very many sizing left. Maybe they just came out with a new release or sale. But I'm confident in the items that I did choose. So I hope you guys like them and I'm gonna do my best to do the most honest review. One eternity later. This shit sucks. <laughs> Their shipping was like eight to 14 days, business days. There was a holiday because of Thanksgiving. So I gave them the benefit of the doubt. Anyways, I ended up waiting, I don't know, I would say like 17 days. And then I was like, hey guys, like where is my um, shipment? Where's my order? <laughs> like, I'm really looking forward to this. Anyways, like, long story. Help me. Long story. Please. Yeah, I just want your stuff. Take my money. I'm not trying to bash them. Yes, you know, are. No. <laughs> yes, I just was really excited to review their products. I've never reviewed Alphalete they, they before. So pretty much I placed my order on September 30th. Today is October 22nd. Wow. Oh my God. Putting that into perspective, it's, it seems like almost a month since I've placed that order. Basically what happened was the address was totally right. Somehow Alphalete kind of made a mistake when they were shipping it to me. They shipped it right to the carrier in my neighborhood. It didn't even come to my house at all. And then it got shipped back to Alphalete. And they said I could reorder um, the items. But I'm just nervous because there was nothing wrong with the address. So is it just going to happen again? And I'm going to wait another month to get these order or get these items. I'm on the Gymshark uh, website right now trying to find dupes for the uh, items that I bought or bought <laughs> from Elfly because I just I know that it's going to work and I know that the order is going to come to my house probably Never. by next week. They were very nice throughout the whole process. Definitely great customer service. Just kind of sucks I waited practically a month for an order that never came. I'm gonna have to reorder it all over again for it to possibly happen again. So I'm just I'm just gonna find things on Gymshark that look very similar and let's get to the video. I always say things happen for a reason, so maybe I'll try out Alpha uh another time. I've heard nothing but great things about them and their customer service was pretty spot on. So, cause I'm so lazy on my off days, I'm nervous that they're going to fade in the wash, so definitely cold, cold water, air dry, just in case. I wonder if you actually work out in these sweatpants, or are they just supposed to be for lounging? I'm gonna do both. I kind of got items, I always do this, I get items that I know I can mix and match because your girl's not rich. <laughs> I need to have things that will probably look good with the other item that I bought with this other outfit kind of thing, if that even, does that make sense? <laughs> this one seemed pretty popular in a lot of other videos, but I just genuinely liked it because it incorporated all different kinds of colors and I usually don't have any colors in my wardrobe. So, unless it's like a lighter shade blue or just like cool tones I really like. This actually is reflective. It is pretty cool. It doesn't look like a, doesn't look like a super supportive sports bra, but let's put it on and we'll see. Definitely saw Elizabeth Zacks. Zacks, sorry if I miss Brown saying that name. She is definitely someone I look up to on social media. I've been taking a break from social media. If you've noticed on my Instagram, I really one want to focus on my main platform, which is YouTube and creating quality content that I put a lot of effort in. So thanks for following and watching this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. It means more to me than I think you guys will ever know. This one's really pretty. It's that like really wrap around one. So we'll see how well I do with that. <laughs> Come on. I got these leggings. These are those super high ones that you see a lot of people rolling down um, at the top. Yeah. These are the power down tights. And they have the nice logo just right here. <laughs> Thank you. Here 
there's my cat cameo. Hey, Bray. She's so cute to me. She knows that I need her right now. Alrighty, friends. First sports bra and pants are on. I will give you a disclaimer. My body has been changing lately. You might see a little bit more um, muscle in my upper body because I have been incorporating that into my workouts lately, um, as well as I have been gaining a little bit of weight um, just with the added stress I've been going under lately. I've, you know, stress works in mysterious ways. It can go like one or the other way but this is my body and I am proud of it now um, it is going to fluctuate so who knows what it's gonna look like tomorrow but this is what it looks like today and I need to be proud of that regardless of where I'm at in my fitness journey I will start off by saying the sports bra was a little bit challenging to get on because I wanted it to look that like pretty little bow thing that I've seen a lot on you know, social media and other YouTubers. Uh, this takes a little bit more time to make it as pretty. So I'll show you what I came up with. Hopefully it's, you like it. <laughs> so I don't know, I didn't really know how to put it. I think it would look different either way. Like where does this, does this go down here? <laughs> okay. So here's the sports bra. I might actually feel more confident just wearing a sports bra and pants at the gym since I have been working on my arms a bit lately. So I'm pretty, pretty proud. I don't know. Small strides, people. Small strides. So the support is pretty supportive. <laughs> Tequila's hair has yet to be on them, so let's hurry up and take a video before that ends. Oh. And by the way, all of the items that I'm wearing in today's uh, review are a size small. So, if it helps, I will also put my measurements in the description below, as well as all the links to the items that I'm featuring in this video, so you can have a little bit of a reference. Another one. Alrighty, so now I have the non-stop sports bra on and the power down leggings, the gray ones. I've always wanted to have some gray leggings because the ones I had were just a tad bit too small for me now. So, gotta go with the flow. Um, I understand what people say about it being a little bit too high-waisted, so I rolled it down as I find most people have been doing. Um, it's alright, but you know, it's okay, this isn't super supportive, but I don't do very much cardio anyway, so I am strictly kind of like a weightlifter, you know, do some walking and stuff, um, just to kind of, you know, start out my workouts, or um, you have to get some kind of walking in there. <laughs> I find that a lot of the Gymshark sports bras, or the ones that I have just tried on, are a little bit more than just sports bras so you feel a little bit more comfortable wearing them solo in the gym um, pairing them with other kind of outfits and, and stuff like that so you don't feel like you're too overexposed I would say this is a bit longer um, than my other sports bras that I have from like Lululemon or something um, and then obviously with their leggings they really really emphasize the uh, high waisted so it's minimal uh, skin exposure I would say I'm actually feeling pretty good. I would definitely go to the gym in this. Like, why not? There is um, the option to zip it down here. I don't know, whatever you're feeling that day. Show a little extra skin. I don't know, I like it. I've heard some mixed reviews on YouTube and stuff, but this is, I think it's cute. I mean, I'd prefer it to be zipped up. But. So I definitely really like the leggings because they're quite a thick material. They kind of remind me of the flex leggings that I have in black. Um, they're just really, they're not super compressive. That has some tummy control here, but they're pretty movable, as most Gymshark stuff really is, to be honest. <laughs> kind of reminds me of like a waffle material, if that makes sense. Like the pattern on the leggings is 
quite like waffly. <laughs> Especially coming into Canadian winters, it's really, really cold here. And when you're on your way to the gym, even just going from your car to the gym, you need some high quality um, active wear, I would say. I'd rather personally overheat in the gym than be freezing on my way and probably never end up making it to the gym. Thank you for so patiently waiting for another review video. I find that these videos get the most interaction and the most um, engagement on my channel. I do enjoy filming them, of course. I wish that I knew this was an option years and years ago because I've always been an avid shopper, especially with gym wear. Um, I just didn't think of ever filming videos and doing reviews on them. I really, really want to invest in you guys and bringing you guys quality content as I kind of flip-flop between reviews and travel videos. I have a passion for doing travel videos very, very, very much so, but I also really enjoy shopping, like most people. So I might as well do reviews on them so I can prevent anyone else from purchasing um, a faulty item or just seeing how it looks on a different body type. I would say my body type is somewhere in the average um, to like athletic. So thank you so much for investing your time into watching my videos. Like I mentioned before, it means the absolute world to me, especially in the kind of mental state that I've been in lately. I'm just working out some finer details in my personal life. So thank you so much and filming and creating and editing these videos actually brings me peace. Uh, I don't really get super stressed about it. I just really enjoy creating them um, and sharing them. So. Mucho appreciated and I hope to see you in my next video sooner than later. Drop me a comment below if you'd like to see uh, some different kind of videos or certain brands that you're interested in because of course I want to bring you videos that you're, you, you prioritize and you think are valuable to your time. So thank you again for your time. I will see you in my next video. 